Hello? You're back. You're back. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, good. And I can hear you as well. Am I on a screen? Am I projected onto a screen? Or they're looking at the computer? Yes. Is there, a, is there a screen in the room? Yes, yes. So they can see me on a screen, can they? And we can see the green screen after you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, great. So where are we? We're in Gaza City. Yes, we are in a Zaytuni Grid Girls School. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so, and how many students have we got today? How many students are there? 20? 20 girls, 20. Okay, and we have how long? One um, hour? Yes, yes, it's okay for one hour. One hour, fantastic. Okay, right. Um, let's have, could, could maybe three girls come up and introduce themselves and tell... Mariam, you want to introduce yourself? Come on, Shaheer. Come on, Shaheer. Come on, Shaheer. Yes, Mariam. Yes, Mariam. Say hello. Mariam. Hello, Mr. Nick. Hello, Mariam. I recognize you. <laughs> We've met before, haven't we? Yes. Did you meet Mr. Nick uh, before? No. No, I've never met you. Really? No. You you look, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh. Ever? Does she have does she have a familiar face? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen you before, no? Never? Ah, maybe you've been in a play. Have you been in a play? Yes. Uh, no, 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 she didn't participate in the play. No? Okay. Yes. But we have Sunday. Come on, Sunday. Come on. She participated. Okay. So Mariam, is it do you write your name like that or do you write it with a Y? Do you write it with an I or a Y? Uh, both of them are right. This is, you both, you write it however way you like. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. So nice to meet you, Marian. Tell me, tell nice me something. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, so tell me something about you. What you're, you're, how old are you? 15? Uh, no, I'm 14 years old. 14. 15 years old. Read your voice, Marian. Read your voice. Uh, uh, my favorite hobby is uh, drawing. I can dance the uh, and I uh, I like uh, speaking in English, singing, lots of things. So you like singing, dancing the and drawing. Tell Mr. Nick about your problems. Not not at the same time though. Yes, they can all of them like singing. Do you really? want to for you? Okay. Yes, okay, come on, Sundar. Come on, girl. Come on, Sundar. Yes. Come on, Sundar. Introduce yourself, please. Introduce yourself. Hi, Mr. Nick. Hi. Is your name Sundar? Yeah, Sundar. I'm Sundar. Sundar. She Sundar. participated in the drama, in the play. She was. Oh, really? Wait, yeah. this, this year or last year? No, this year. No, this year. What's the name of your play? I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. Okay. I haven't seen the plays yet. You must say it. I haven't seen it. You should do that. You should do that. I will do one day, inshallah. Inshallah. Sondo. <laughs> well, how do you write Sondo? S O N D O K? Like that? Sondos. Not K, oh. yes. Spill your name, spill your name. Like that? S yes, S O N D O, yeah. Okay, now, uh, Sondos, if I look at you, I think you are uh, quite um, a scientific person, is that right? Yeah. You like, you like maths? Do you like maths? I like maths and English and computer. Computers, okay. You like computers? Yeah. Are you good at, are you good with computers? Yeah. Yeah? I, I like the games on it. Ah, what's your favorite game? Um, maybe uh, Subway. Subway, okay, I don't know it. I'm not very good with computers. Okay. Okay, and um, 
Uh, I didn't tell you about my old. Uh, I'm 14 and I'm, I'm in grade eight. I'm the second of the class. My average is 99.2. What? <laughs> is, that, is that amazing? It's crazy. <laughs> 99.2? Yeah. Out of 100? <laughs> Inshallah, the next year. <laughs> Do you know that here, no one would get a score like that? I did. So, I did. In England, no one would ever get a score of 99%. You're going to sit on the chair, that's better, yeah. So it looks like um, you've got quite a good connection today. Is this after? Is this after school or before school? What? Before we have a after school. We are after. Oh, before. Oh, so your afternoon shift. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Right now, Sondos, um, what would you like? What should we do in the session today? What would you like to do in the session today? Do you like to do in the um, I like to sing. Uh, we all like to sing a song named "All oh My Home" for you. Oh, okay. All right, great. Okay, let's start. Yeah, start. Yeah, start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 And your love shall I see, see you, the blessed victorious and the blessed victorious and the heart shall I see you, amen, and reaching the stars, reaching the stars, oh my home, oh my home, oh my home. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. You know, Sondos, Sondos, when you sing that song, oh. it reminds me of something. What? I'll show you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of this. Oh, the olive trees? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, Sondos? This is a very special olive tree. Yeah. yeah, of course. And Palestine produces a lot. Yeah. It does. And olive trees are very special. But this tree is also very special. Why? Why do you think? This particular tree. Have a look at it. Is it because she means the peace? Um, I mean, I mean this particular tree, not every tree, this tree. Have a look, even I'll, go, I'll, sh I'll show you a close-up picture of the tree. Look at the tree here in close-up. It's very old. Exactly. How old? I think thousands, maybe. 
How much? Thousand. More. More? Yeah. Five thousand years. Exactly. Wow. It's five thousand years old. Do you know where this tree is? Do you know where it is, Sundar? Where is it? Do you know where it is? In Palestine? Yeah. Where in Palestine? In a city? Nablus, maybe? No, it's, it's in a village called Alwalaja, and it's near Bethlehem. Oh, Bethlehem. Oh. Near Bethlehem, yeah. And it's the oldest olive tree in the world. Wow. The oldest olive tree in the world. And last summer, I went with um, 15 children from Gaza, 15 girls from Gaza, and we sang, Oh My Home, underneath this tree. That was exactly good. Would you like to hear it? Okay. I'm going to find it for you. Just give me one second. I'm going to try to find... Uh, the video of it. Where is it? Let me see. Um, it's amazing, isn't it, to think that an olive tree could be 5,000 years old. Yeah. It's so old. And you know, this tree is also on your um, English book. Yep. You, you know English for Palestine? Oh, yeah. Grade 7? Oh, uh, I want to tell you about uh, our last uh, lesson. It's about food and the world. The world. The world. Uh -huh. The world food. They talk about food uh -huh. and uh, the countries who produce and uh, export it. Yeah. Uh, as India produce tea, and Brazil uh, produce coffee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Canada, Russian, and uh, and USA produce wheat. Yeah. Time produce olive and olive oil. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what grade is that? Uh, do you like eat olives? What grade is that though? What? What do you, do you like mushrooms? What grade is that? Do you like? Grade, what's the grade? What's the grade? Grade, I'm in grade eight. Grade eight, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I like eating olives a lot. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you a video. It's just a one minute long. It's about 15 girls from Gaza, and they're singing, Oh My Home, underneath this tree. Okay? Okay, I'm waiting. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Look at the video, girl. <laughs> Nice, yeah. So, um, I was going to, I wanted to maybe tell you a story. You Would that be okay? What? Yeah. Do you want to tell me a story? Yeah, all of you. Okay. okay. About it? Yeah. I want to tell you a traditional Palestinian story. And the story is about a tree. So? Yes, yes. Everyone can see me, can they? Yes, yes, all of them can see you. Yes, go on. 
So, uh, just a minute. Now this story is very, very old. It's a Palestinian story and it's from um, maybe a thousand years ago, maybe more. It's, it's, one, it's a very, very old story. And it's a traditional Palestinian story. Yes, traditional Palestinian story, yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Just a second. Okay, are you ready to listen, girls? Yeah. 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 Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is the story. Look at the pictures now. Okay. So, so, can you can you see the screen? Can you see the pictures? So the story is called Jubene. Jubene. Jubene, yes. Jubene. Long ago, there was a married couple, and they lived in Palestine, and. They had everything that they wanted in life. They had a beautiful house, they had friends, and they had money, and they lived in a beautiful, beautiful country. But they had one thing missing from their lives. Do you know what that was? Yes. What? Peace. Love. Love? Love or peace? They had love, they had peace. They had one thing missing from their life. What was it? A married couple, a man and a woman. Yes, a man and a woman, and a woman, yeah. What did they not have? Yeah. What did they have? A baby, me, baby. A baby, exactly. Yes, a baby, yes, a baby. Yeah. They had no baby. <laughs> one day, their lives became perfect. And a baby girl was born. Oh, they have a baby. Look, yeah. And her face was so white. Oh, her what? skin was so white that they called her Jibene. Like Jibna. Like white cheese. Her face was white, white, white. As white as your scarf, Sondo. Like your scarf. Very white. And Jibena grew up to be a very beautiful girl. And, a very, and she was loved by everyone. She was kind and she was caring and she was generous and she was honest. And as she got older, a lot of the men in the village where they lived, they wanted to marry Jubena. When she grew up, they wanted to marry her. And they said, oh, Jubena, I would like to ask your father if I can marry you. And Jubena said, no, no, no. And all the other women in the village, you can see them here, the other women in the village, they felt jealous of Jibena. They said, who is this Jibena? Why, why do they like Jibena? They don't like us. Why do the men want to marry Jibena, but not us? What does she have that we don't have? It's not fair. It's not just. It's not right. And the women were so jealous and so spiteful that they decided to do something very nasty to Jibena. Oh. And so the next day they said to Jibena, come, come Jibena, come with us. And Jibena always said yes to everything. Anybody asked her to do anything to help them, 
she always said yes. She was just that kind of person, always kind, always helping. They said to Jubena, you see those trees in the distance? Yeah. yeah. Those are the Christ thorn trees. And the fruit from those trees is so delicious. And Jubena, will you come with us and pick the fruit from the Christ thorn trees? Jubena said, yes, I will do anything, of course. So they walked for a whole day until they came to the Christ thorn trees. And the three women said, Jubena, you are the smallest, you are the youngest. So you have to climb up to the top of the tree, to the very, very top, where the fruit is the most delicious, where the fruit is the ripest. So Jibena started to climb the tree. She climbed higher and higher. And the women called up to her, higher, Jibena, keep climbing, Cli higher, higher, higher. The best fruit is at the top, keep going. And Jibena climbed higher. And the Christ thorn tree has lots of thorns. Yeah. And it scratched Jibena's arms. Yeah. Yes. And she was bleeding. She was bleeding. And when Jibena was in the top of the tree, uh -huh. They called up to her. They called. Ha! Jibena, you're stuck now. Jibena, Jibena, stuck in the tree. You can't get down. You can't get free. Jibena, Jibena, stuck in the tree. You can't get down. You can't get free. Jibena was stuck. She didn't know how to get down. And the three women took some matches and they lit a fire under the tree. And so all the smoke came up and Jibena couldn't get down anyway because the fire was burning fast underneath her. Jibena sat in the tree and as the three women walked away, they sang to themselves, Jibena, Jibena, stuck in the tree. You can't get down, you can't get free. Jibena, Jibena, stuck in the tree. You can't get down, you can't get free. Jibena started to cry. And she waited and she waited until all of the fire had gone out. And when the fire had gone out, she climbed down the tree. And the fire had gone out. The fire had gone out. Yeah. Jibena was really sad. She was a long way from her home and her family. She didn't know the way home. She was alone. And Jibena said, I don't want to be beautiful. Being beautiful brings me problems. I don't want to be beautiful anymore. And she took from the fire, the soot and the ash, the black soot and the ash, and she rubbed it into her face and her arms. So she was dirty everywhere. At that moment, the owner of the land, came by, a very rich man, and he saw Jibena, and he thought, ah, Jibena, my servant, this is, he didn't know she was Jibena, he thought, this is my servant, this is my servant, and he said, what are you doing? You should be looking after the sheep, go and look after the sheep now. You lazy girl, what are you doing? And so 
Jibena walked over yeah. to the sheep. Yeah. And she stood among the sheep. And Jibena felt that the whole world had collapsed. She lost her family, she lost everything. And there she was with the sheep in a field and she didn't even know the way home. And she started to cry. And when she started to cry, the sheep started to cry too. And when the sheep started to cry, the sky started to cry too. And the rain came down yeah. harder and harder. And when the rain came down, it washed yeah. Jibena's face yeah. and her arms and her skin. And at that moment, the rich land law, land, uh, landowner came back. Yes. And he saw Jibena and he realized how beautiful she was. And he got down on his knees. And he said, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I thought you were my servant. But now I can see you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Do you think that one day you could marry me? Now, what do you think? Sondo. Sondos, yeah. What do you think? Should she marry him? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe, oh yes. <laughs> Why? Maybe everyone just talk to each other. Go and, go and sit down, Sondo, with the others. Yes. And just talk to your partner. Everyone talk to your partner. Do you think Jibene should marry the rich man or not? Talk to your partner. What do you think? Okay, you want to say one? Okay. Yes? Yes? Yeah? 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 You want? Come on, Ima. <laughs> Okay, come on, Ina, come on. Come and, come and tell me. Yeah, come on. Okay, introduce so yourself to Mr. Nick. Hello, Mr. Nick. Hello, what's your name? Uh, my name is Iman Muhammad Al Zujbi. Iman. Hi, Iman. Nice to meet you. You are really great, man. Thank you. Because you help all Palestinian girl and boy. Uh, Iman participated in the play this year. Oh, what was the name of your play? Yes, the same play, I have a dream. Ah, yes. the same play, I have a dream. Okay. Please. <laughs> um, I don't think... Uh, yes. Jibena, yeah? Jibena agreed to marry brain because he was so bad with her, uh, like uh, uh, the brains should be uh, lovely and kind with others, not just with the brains or king or the uh, queen. Beautiful, yeah. And she, uh, he should be lovely and have a beautiful hair with ah, all yeah. people, not with just the queen or brains. Uh, we should be, uh, he should be have a good manner, not bad, because, um, he treated her, yes, he treated her badly at first. He was bad. The brand should be a, a, a good leader for other people. Uh, try to... Yeah. 
Bibol should try the age. Bibol. He he Don't should be a good model for others. Ah, uh, he uh, yes, he should to be a good model for others. And uh, <laughs> what you've just said is so beautiful. That's beautiful. What you've just said, yes. Mariam, Mariam wants to say something. Come on, Mariam. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot. Uh, come on, Mariam. Yeah. Uh, I think that she won't marry him because she didn't want to marry uh, anybody uh, from the, the beginning. Yeah. And we should always judge on the people from their uh, from their heart, not from their uh, appearance. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's so beautifully expressed the way you said that. So you said, say that again. You should ex you should judge people uh, on the on their appearance on their manners, not on their appearance. Yeah, yeah, that's so beautiful. Very, very true. But sometimes that doesn't happen, does it, in the world? And uh, not not all the people are like this. Yeah, not all the people are like this. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. Okay. So you wouldn't marry him. He's, you wouldn't marry him. He's maybe not like him. Uh huh. Sure. Even though he's rich, though. He's rich. He's rich. Money is not important. Is it? Not, is it not important? No. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. All right. Is there anyone who thinks she should marry him? Is there anyone in the class who thinks she should marry him? Okay, who thinks that she should marry him? Who has this argument? Means that you know she should marry him, or she's going to marry him. She can't find her house, so she should do something. <laughs> okay, anyone thinks that she may marry him? Yeah. Because it says yes, Exactly. Come on, come on, here. Yeah. Shahid, come here. Come, Shahid. Come here, Shahid. Okay, Mr. Nick, we have Shahid. She okay. came. She came from London. She was living there. Oh, really? Yes. Talk with Mr. Nick, Shahid. Here she is. Hello. Hi, Shahid. Hello, Mr. Nick. Hi. So you used to live in London? Yes. There's your oh, book. Where, where in London did you live? <laughs> where in London? Really? Stretchum? Wow. When did you come to Gaza? When did you come to Gaza? Um, uh, for six months. Six months ago. Wow. You've even got a London way, you've got a London accent. Yeah. You speak English. Yes. Yeah, she has a wonderful accent. She's got a London, a London accent. Yeah. Yes, yes. How long did you live in That's London? Great. Uh, would you like to tell Mr. Nick about your life in Gaza, the few months? Tell him about the life in Gaza. I enjoyed my life here because look, I have lots of friends and uh, my new experience here and my family and everything. That's great. But you were born, were you born in London? <laughs> yes. Born in London. And how long have you been in Gaza now? No. Six months. Just six months, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> did you like that story, Shahir? Yeah. What did you like the most in Mr. Nick's story? Um, uh, when the, my favorite part of the story is when the girl cried and the sheep cried with her. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The sky. Yeah. Yeah. And clean her. Yeah, yeah, that's a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, brilliant. Um, now, um, I was thinking, yeah, Shahed, um, that there's a song that goes with this story, and maybe we could learn it. Yeah. Should we do that? Yes. Let me just find it. Okay, there's a song. Go with this story. You will see. Just going through this quickly. Okay. Now, now here it is. 
Yes, this song. Mm. Wow, Japan. Yeah. So it goes like this. Yeah. Listen. Japan, Japan, as white as cheese. Come with us to the Christ on trees. Japan, Japan, as white as cheese. Come with us to the Christ on trees. So that's when the girls are telling her to come. Okay, yeah? okay, then, then I'm going to repeat. Yeah. So should we do it like that? I say the line and then you repeat it. Everyone. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Jibane, Jibane, as white as cheese. Jibane, Jibane, as white as cheese. Come with us to the Christ thorn trees. Come with us to the Christ thorn trees. Jibane, Jibane, stuck in the tree. Jibane, Jibane, stuck in the tree. You can't get down, you can't get free. You can't get down, you can't get free. Jibane, Jibane, as black as night. Stay with the sheep till the morning light. Stay with the sheep till the morning light. Jibane, jibane, as white as cheese. Marry me, marry me, marry me, please. Jibane, jibane, as white as the moon. Marry me, marry me, marry me soon. Okay, great. Okay, now, uh, shall we do it? Um, I was thinking that maybe for next week, you could learn that and then you could perform it next week. Is that possible? Yeah. Everyone? What? Yes, yes, Mr. Nair. I'm sorry. So, yeah. So, have you got that script? Have you got that story? Yeah. The, the chant. No. The words. Um, do you want to take a photo of it? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. okay. So maybe for next week. Yeah. Um, you could uh, show that. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you could perform it, I mean. Like, yeah. work out a way of doing it. Everyone could do it. Maybe half the class say the first line. Yes. And then half the class say the second line or something. Yes, yeah. inshallah. Thanks a lot, Mr. Allah. Okay, great. Now, so we've got, we've got about 15 minutes now before the end of the session. And um, I was going to do maybe, uh, well, what would you like to do? Is there something you would like to sing or perform? Or can I tell you a, a puzzle story? Would you like to hear a puzzle story? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like yes, they like that. A puzzle story. Okay. Okay. All right. That's so kind of you. <laughs> no problem. So this is a story where there's a problem and you have to solve the problem in the story okay yes all right so hello mr ne hello i am samar kandil samar yes yeah great samar i am a great seven grade seven so you have this book english yeah. have you got your course book there english for palestine yeah yeah do you have it there yeah, yeah. can you show me where is your book Mark seven english yes seven is eight grade seven no seven is eight uh, one Oh, that's it. Yes, yes. on the that's cover. It. Exactly. That's that tree. Yes. The that's same it. tree. Yeah. So I hope one day you go to see that tree. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, sorry, I've forgotten your name. What's your name? Emma. 
Oh yes, yeah, summer. summer. Sorry, sorry. She's the sky. My brain's not very good. <laughs> okay, so summer. This is a story, okay? So if you can solve the problem. Yeah. So there's a man. Okay. And he's driving in his car. Okay. A man's driving his car. And sitting in the back is his son. So there's a man driving. And behind him is his son. And it's a very stormy night. There's rain, heavy rain, and wind, and thunder, and lightning. And it's very difficult to see. And the road is very slippery. Yeah? You know what I mean by slippery? Yeah. Yeah. So, the car crashes. The car crashes. It's really bad. And the car hits a tree. And tragically, the father is killed. And the son the son is very badly injured very badly injured and an ambulance comes yes and takes the boy to hospital he goes to hospital and he goes straight into the operating theater because he needs an operation yes yes operation yeah and the doctor comes into the room and sees the boy lying there and the doctor says oh my god my son my son i i know the doctor say that the boy is my son yeah the doctor says oh my god my son so can you explain come on yes mariam no the yeah. answer yes, yes come on mariam come on okay yes Did you know uh, the man that you say about him his father maybe he stole him and told him that he told him that he is his father so, so the real father is the doctor. How, how is that? Uh, the man in the car was uh, not his father. Ah, uh -huh. good idea. Yeah. But, but it's not right. He was his father. The man, the man driving the car, really was his father. It really was his father. Yeah. He was a uh, liar. <laughs> no. No, he's not a liar. He really was his father. I don't know. Think about that. Yeah, can you hear that? What was that idea? What did you say? Come on, Iman. Come on, Iman. Come on. What do you think about the answer? Uh, maybe the, uh, uh, the son, uh, the doctor uh, saying uh, his son because uh, the the boy? The boy was look like his son. Uh, oh, that's not no, right. it's a good idea, but it's not right. Listen, the, the boy really was the doctor's son. Yes, why the doctor say that he's my son? Oh, why? Think about that. The doctor be kind. No, not that. Uh-huh, nice idea. But it's not the right one. But the doctor, the, the boy, really was the doctor's son. Yeah, the boy was really the doctor's son. How? It's a riddle. It's like a riddle. How? It's not some. 
No, it's not the idea. Think about that. Anyone else got an idea? Anyone have an idea? Maybe the sun. Yeah? Yes? Sandos? Sandos? Okay. Okay, can you tell them they don't know no, the idea? No, wait! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Think about that. Maybe not. Uh, maybe maybe not he who has died. No, he. Yeah. No, the father really died. No. The father died. The father, father. died. The father, the father died. died. Really. In the accident, his father died. And he, he went to the hospital. The doctor said, Oh, this is my son. So, how it become like that? No, maybe he was slave to sons and. Uh, but okay. all of you die at night. No. <laughs> no. At night, all of you die. No, it's and not the so idea. It's not the idea. There are we want you to solve the riddle. Think about that. It's not right. Yeah. Yeah. No, the doctor, another person. There was two sons in the back of the no, only one. Only no, one maybe one. the dad was have uh, a, a twin. Twin? No. Uh -huh. No. No. Good idea, but it's not right. How about this here? No, how, how could it be? No. What's your opinion here? When I tell you the answer, yeah. you're going to go, oh, of course. When I tell you the answer, you're going to go, oh, of course. <laughs> Okay, can you tell them the idea? Shall the I tell idea? you? Yes. Do you want Mr. Nick to give you the answer? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, thank you. Okay, you have the time. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll give you a clue, shall I? Yes. Okay, so... Listen to the answer, please. Um, the, the father is a man or a woman? Oh, so she's the woman. A father is a man or a woman? The father is a man or a woman, yes. A father, yeah? A man. What about the doctor? The doctor is... Women. Yeah. So the doctor is the boy. The boy's what? The boy's mom. The boy's mom. Mother or your mother. Yeah. The doctor is the mother. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did you understand that? Yeah. yeah. The doctor is the mother. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? What yeah. does that tell us about the world? That story. Think about the story. What does it tell you about the world? Yeah. Yeah. The story? Yeah. Why, why do you think, why do you think the doctor is a man? Uh-huh. Why do you think the doctor is a man? Why? Can you tell me yes, Shahid? Uh, yes. Yes. Because, uh, Mr. Nick said that uh, Come on. Come on, Shay. Come on here. Come on. Yes. Shay, I want to say something. Yeah. Hi, Why do you think? Yes, Shay. Because. Raise your voice, please. Because um, Mr. Nick said that uh, he had two fathers. Yeah. But I didn't say that, though. He didn't say that. I just said. Yeah, really? The doctor said, the doctor said, he's my son. This is my son. The doctor said, this is my son. Yes, Jenny. Because doctor means uh, a man and a nurse means a woman. But, uh -huh. yeah. but do, can you have a woman doctor? Yeah, we yeah. can. Yeah. <laughs> we can, can't we? I'm sure that in that class, or in your class, I would say maybe lots of students in that class want to be doctors. Don't they? Um, Sondor? 
most of the guys are men. I mean, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, come on. Go ahead. Yeah. Can you ask a question to everyone in the class? Ask them if they want to be a doctor when they finish school, put their hand up. How many people yeah. in the class want to be a doctor? To be a doctor. A man, son, doctor. How yeah. many want to be a doctor? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten girls. Exactly. Uh, out of, so 50%. Yes. And are you girls or boys? Okay. Are you men or women? Are you men or women? Are you girls or boys? Yeah. Yeah. So, so? Why did you think so, that the doctor was just a man? Why? Why do you think in this way? Yes, think about that. Why? Why is it good? Yeah? And we hear a doctor, uh, the first, when we hear the word uh, doctor, yeah. uh, the first thing it came in our mind, uh, it's a man. Yeah. That's the proof. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. So why? Why did you think like this? Why? Why do we think like that? In English, yes. boys and girls. <laughs> yes. Yes, Sundar. Misleading story? Why? Is that about your tradition? The what? You're thinking. Do you trust men more than women? No. No? no. So what? Think about that. Why did you think men that the doctor was a man, not a woman? Why? Oh, but, uh, some, some girls say that women are uh, weaker than men, but we have many doctors, many women doctors here in Gaza and in Palestine. In every country, we have many doctors. As yeah, well. of course. So why did you think like that? I want to know that. Why? What? Some say that uh, because the patient is a boy or a man. No, doctors, doctors can treat men also. It's interesting, isn't it? Yes, I've it's told not that story. It's not just, I've told that story in many countries all over the world, in England, yeah. in Brazil. Yeah. Everywhere, people always think, doctor, man, must be a man. Yeah. But why that? Why is that, really? We don't know. The girls, the girls here don't got the idea, but they think like this. I think it's because, basically, we have um maybe our, our culture our world our world is prejudiced yes our world is prejudiced against women uh-huh maybe uh, so we talk now about the human rights about women rights in the society exactly uh-huh yes i and mean women can be just as good doctors as men yeah. can't they yeah of course yeah. and the same way that men, what about teachers? What about other jobs? What if we think of, uh, if you think of a teacher, do you think of a man or a woman? Yes, if you think about teacher then, when, you, when we say the word teacher, do you think about, is it a man or a woman? Man. Who say man, who say man? When, you, when we say that word teacher, yes? Man or woman? Man, comes to you, man, woman. So, okay, woman, all of you say woman. Why did you think about that? Because our because teachers learn from grade one to eight. Come soon, just say that. Because we would have a lot of women teachers learn us from grade one to this grade eight as we yeah so the first the first world uh, came in our mind is a teacher is a woman okay okay and i'm a teacher and i'm not a woman what i'm a teacher are you a teacher and i'm not a woman oh <laughs>
Did you think I was a woman? Yeah. Yeah. It don't come with a woman. Yeah. So, no, I think that's true, isn't it? Uh, certainly in Palestine, there are more women teachers than men teachers. Yes? Yeah. 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 What about um, engineer? Engineer. Do you think of a man or a woman? Man. Man. Woman, I'm going to be an engineer. You're going to be, who's going to be an engineer? Who's going to be an engineer? Come and tell me. Who's that? You're going to be an engineer. Inshallah. 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 What, what, what kind of engineer? Uh, because I like drawing and math. No, but what kind of engineer? Like uh, building engineer? Uh, yes, building engineer. Architectural engineer. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Actually, I like all the subjects, so uh, I still didn't uh, choose it. But the most idea is I'm going to be an engineer. Okay, Mr. Nick, in other countries, when we when we hear the word driver, all of us expect that he's a man, but we have some women as drivers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's a strange here. It's not acceptable in God, especially. And do you know? So everyone, man or woman, can be think whatever he wants. Exactly. A driver, a doctor, engineer, teacher, everything. Exactly. 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 Do you think that there are any jobs which should be only done by men or only done by women or any jobs which are better done by men or better done by women? Leaders. Which? Leaders for men. You think leaders? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? There Why are women leaders. Yes. It's not fair. But why? Why do you prefer men to be leaders more than women? Why? Because in my life, I see, I've seen a lot of uh, men leader. It's not, not, not more uh, women leader. I didn't see a lot of that. Do you know what I think? Okay. Can I tell you what I think? Yes. Next. 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 In the world now. There are lots of men who are leaders, yes, in the world now. In Palestine, in England, in America. And men are making a mess of the world. It's true. Men leaders are making a mess of the world. Maybe now it's time we had more women leaders yeah maybe they will make a better do a better job yeah yeah of leading women can be good leaders too. yeah but uh, the problem is the 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 women judge with their heart but the men judge with their mind oh it's difficult yeah it's interesting. But don't you think we need people to judge with their but heart? Is it, is it bad, Sundar, that to lead or to judge with our heart? No, but maybe uh, this word needs the, the women are weak. Weak, I guess, women. Weaker. And maybe when they, when they say someone uh, wrong, they will, they will wrong. What? what? Judge, forgive them. Yeah, won't uh, won't put him, uh, won't uh, hurt him. I can't find the word. I understand what you mean. It's very interesting. Yeah, Mr. Nick, there's uh, some girls want to give you a wonderful song to say for you. Okay. And then we have to finish the session. Yes. Okay, can you start? 
Okay, wow, that's great. Very nice to meet everyone and hear your views about the stories and about the world. In a way, both those stories have the same uh, message in a way, don't they? Yeah. About power, women power, power of women. Yes, about women power, that's true, yeah. So that women can do whatever they want to do in this life. Yes, you are not weak. You have your own personality, and you have your own goals, and you can do more and more to achieve your goals in life. Is that right? Maybe yeah. exactly. Maybe one of you. Maybe you will be the leader of Palestine one day. Yes, inshallah. Mr. Nick, I want to say something because the, the girls don't know much about you. Uh, Mr. Nick is uh, has a wonderful and so kind heart. He helps all the students in Gaza and he makes has up a project because he wants all of you to express your feelings, your ideas, your creativity. And we appreciate that so, so much. Thanks a lot from our heart. Thanks. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank okay. You. Now, um, See you next week then. Inshallah. Is it um, on Sunday or can I talk with Haya? Same time. Keep, let's keep this time. Okay. In the same time, Inshallah. Yeah. And uh, for next week, yeah. you can perform the chant. Yes. And also, can you, um, maybe you can find a puzzle story to do on me. Yes, yes. They can't, they have many stories and they can oh. tell you about a story. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, bye. Nice okay, goodbye, Mr. Nate. Bye. 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 Peace. Peace. Goodbye. See you. Bye.